Yeah. Uh, hey, we wanted uh, to get some clarity on all of this about what's uh, being done, how it's being handled. On uh, February 26th, a 17-year-old African-American named uh, young man, 17-year-old, uh, Trayvon Martin, was shot and killed in uh, Sanford, Florida. And the shooter was a man by the name of George Zimmerman, 28-year-old uh, white male. And Zimmerman admits killing Martin but claims he was acting in self-defense. Three weeks after Martin's death, no arrests have been made and Zimmerman remains free. So we wanted to bring our man on board to see his thoughts on this, about what's going on, where we are with everything, and uh, seeing what can be done and, and uh, what we can do. So please welcome to the show from the National Action Network, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. Reverend Al. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Reverend Al, how you doing, sir? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Um, well, let's just get into it, Reverend. What's what what what's what's the situation as as it stands right now with the case down here with uh, Trayvon Martin? Well, I think this is uh, uh, one of the worst I've seen. I'm, I'm headed to Florida. We're having a mm. national rally there mm. Thursday night with the family. This young man, Trayvon Martin, uh, was visiting. His father's girlfriend. They were watching the uh, the family was watching the All Star game. He went to the store at halftime, and uh, according to the 911 tapes that have now been released by the Sanford, uh, Florida Police Department, a uh, young man, well, a 28 year old male, white male, uh, named Zimmerman, George Zimmerman, who was the uh, self appointed neighborhood watch guy called in the police and said that there was a suspicious guy in this area. It's a gated community. And uh, they asked him, was he black or white or Latino? He said, I think he's uh, black. He looks like something's wrong. Maybe on drugs, may have something. They said, well, are you following him? He said, yes. They said, don't follow him. He followed him anyway and at some point encountered him and ended up shooting him with a 9 millimeter gun. When oh, police arrived, the only thing the young man had on him was a pack of Skittles, the candy bar, and a uh, iced tea. Yes. Clearly, he had done had nothing uh, on him that could have been threatening. He was not committing a crime, and he had business in the community because he was there uh, with one of the residents. This man was not arrested. He claimed self-defense, mm. and it caused an outrage. This happened three weeks ago, Steve, and uh, clearly our position in National Action Network and the position of many there in the local community is how do you just kill somebody mm. and just walk away like nothing happened, like his right. life is worthless. Right. So mm. this is what has caused the outrage. Uh, there are a lot of unanswered questions, but the facts are what they are. You cannot be defending yourself against a pack of Skittles. This young man had no criminal record, never been in trouble, had every right to be there. The, uh, ironically, the assailant is the one who had a record of mm -hmm. resisting arrest right. and assaulting a police officer. So can you imagine in Sanford, Florida, if it was the other way around, if mm. a young black uh, male watchman with a record shot and killed a white male who ended up having no... Uh, uh, weapon on him, no drugs, right. no problem. He'd have been at least arrested right away, and then a grand jury would have decided whether to indict him, and then a jury would have decided whether he's guilty or not. They would even and still have not arrested this guy. So we're going in to demand that this young man, uh, Zimmerman, be arrested. We're standing with his family and his attorney, uh, attorney uh, uh, Trump, uh, we, who we worked with in the past, calling on his arrest and calling on the Department of Justice to investigate why the police would not do what they normally do. If you remember, just last year, they arrested the head of the IML when the allegation was made that there was a rape in New York because there was evidence that there was some encounter. You don't try a case before you make an arrest. Hmm. You see if, right. if there is what they call probable cause. Hmm. If it's right. probable cause, the police make the arrest and let the courts decide on killed or not. Why right. are they trying this in the police department? Is this guy being protected? Is there a cover-up? We don't know. 
but we do know that the rights of Trayvon Martin has been violated because certainly this young man should not have been killed. Right. You know, um, Reverend, mm. uh, this, this guy Zimmerman, like you say, he has a record. Now, because he's a self-appointed watch captain, there's a there's a facts out that this guy Zimmerman has called the police 46 times right. since January 1, 2011. So he he's on one as we yes. say. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. Anytime 46 times to the police department. And mm-hmm. for this guy to be walking around, man, we were outraged. We got so many emails on what can we do? What 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 how can we help? What would you say to a person out there who's who's looking who who's who is outraged who wants to do something? Get involved. Well, one thing is if they're in the area uh in Florida area, they should come to the rally Thursday night uh at the first uh uh Baptist church, the first Shiloh Baptist Church. They can go to our website, nationalactionnetwork.net, and get all of that information. Secondly, at the rally, uh once we've met with the family and lawyers, we're going to post how people nationwide can be involved in everything from petitioning to helping the family. But I do not want to do that until after the rally, so whatever we do goes directly with the family. Because this is not about people showboating and and doing all kind of other Mm -hmm. things. It needs to be coordinated directly with the family and directly with the attorneys. I know once we've got this out there that everybody jumps in, but I always, as you know, work directly with the families and the lawyers Absolutely. This is about winning the case this is not that's about right. you know people doing showtime at the Apollo <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and, and and that's the I'm glad you brought up that point, point. Reverend, because yeah. you know uh, look people I mean everybody I know you're outraged you want to do something but we the showboat this is we're in a serious business here right now this got to be handled in a business way look the government and no one the police department does not respond to outrageous acts you know when you're just standing on the on the rooftop with baby carriages and stuff i was watching this on tv i got you can't put your baby up but this is serious business this ain't place for strollers and stuff you know let's go about this the right way so so they take us seriously you know and that's that's what i like about you reverend now you come down and you try to get organized without like you say the 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 showboating is no good you know the what we gonna do this you don't do that hey yeah yeah man we're gonna do something but we got to go about doing it the right way or else it's gonna be some more of us uh, in, in, in a situation here. We feel so badly for the oh, family because, yes. man, yes. when you listen to this tape, uh, Reverend yeah. Al, the, the the tape is what really kind of made me sick, man. You can hear this kid screaming. He does not sound like a perpetrator to me. See, mo- most cats that I know that have done some dirt, they not hollering, drawing attention, screaming help. No. Right. right. The perpetrator. That's exactly right. That, right. That's that's a horrible someone. thing to yeah. hear, yeah. Reverend. I tell you. So no. the march. He, he is screaming for help, and he clearly wasn't up to nothing because he had nothing to be up to nothing with, and he doesn't have any background as that. So right. uh, uh, one of the things that really bothered me when the lawyers first called me, because Attorney Crawford worked with Nan Nash Action Network in the past, and when he called me and said we need y'all again, and I got involved. The thing that got to me is that the uh, media down in France, because it hadn't broke national yet, they were trying the victim rather than the perpetrator. Uh, Did yeah. he have a record? Uh. What was he doing there? The question is, why is he dead if he didn't do anything? Yeah. Why right. are we yeah. trying to look at the weeds of the victim and not going after this guy? And in fact, the family says the police lied to them at first and said Zimmerman had a squeaky queen Re- a clean record, when in fact he has a record of being of resisting arrest mm-hmm. and assaulting a police officer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so you're allowed to have a job well, like that and carry a weapon I, after having well, a record. Well, it's like not that? a job; it's just a it's watch not a group. Job. Right. He, he, he's self-appointed. Yeah. Appointed. Yeah. He hey, Reverend. Uh, yeah. The reason why that's important is no, that legally. Time. Uh, Trayvon didn't have to listen to anything this guy said. This guy didn't have the right to stop Trayvon, question him, say anything to him. He's not a policeman. Right. And the policeman told him, wait till we get there. He took yeah. it upon himself. You're not obligated to answer any other citizen's questions. 
Yes, mm. sir. Hey, Reverend Al, um, hey, man, we're going to start pushing everybody to the march on Thursday at 7 p.m. at the First Shiloh Baptist Church in Fed Sanford and get you a lot of support down there. Thank you for joining us this morning, Thank sir. Thank you. God bless. Absolutely. God bless. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 